Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak about marksmen in general, everything about marksmen, hero pairs, artifacts, war pets, builds, talents, everything will be centered around marksmen. Uh, I'm a free-to-play player who is maining marksmen in general, which means I have invested all of my legendary tokens, all of my resources which I have collected and gathered as a free-to-play player in this game uh, to marksmen. That's why I think I have enough experience to speak about the uh, legion type and in general the type of the gameplay for the marksmen. Uh, simply because I have been playing this game almost one year. First of all, what's the most important if you are a marksman player, you need to understand that there is factions which is specialized with some certain legion types. If you are a marksman player, you 100% should be going for Wilderberg because that's the marksman faction in Call of Dragons. Uh, what Wilderberg gives us is additional damage to our marksman units, 5%, and... Uh, marksman is all about damage simply because you don't have enough uh, range in order to save uh, to be safe during the battlefield you won't gonna be hiding uh, because you you're gonna have a medium range and also whenever you are getting hit you it's it's it, it's better to just deal as much damage as possible rather than just run because you also have the one of the lowest march speed uh, on your legion also, for the Wilderberg faction, there is uh, Wyvern Riders, which are marksmen flying units, uh, another legion which gonna be marksmen for you, same medium range, and it also another indication why Wilderberg is marksmen faction in Call of Dragons. Uh, for the beginners, I wouldn't recommend to start uh, as a Wilderberg from the day one. Uh, you have always have one item which can give you free uh, faction change so it's at first try the game uh, maybe start with league of order and if you are maining the uh, marksman you're just collecting the heroes the artifacts for your marksman heroes and marksman legions and after all of all you have gathered you can transfer to the wilderborg and gain your uh, and use your collected items in the fight that, that's ex exactly what i did in this game now what's most important whenever we are speaking about the maining the legion type is about hero pairs right uh, as you can see i have almost every single uh, marksman hero which is currently in the game and i have been playing with every each of them in this game when you are starting the game, uh, your main marksman hero is Gwenwin, which is epic hero. Uh, she is pretty unique because you can even use her in the later stages of the game, uh, simply because she is one of the best uh, behemoth killer because of her awakening skill, which can give you some poison. And whenever enemy has a high amount of HP, poison always deals more and more damage than flat uh, physical damage or normal attack. Uh, so whenever you are starting the game, your only two choices for Marksman is Gwenwin and Craig. Uh, we won't gonna speak uh, deeply about Craig and Gwenwin hero pair because that's nothing special out there. Uh, we are choosing this hero pair simply because both of the heroes are epic and it will be easy for you to upgrade them uh, till the awakening skill. Uh, simply because it's really really easy uh, as you are just playing the game uh, and uh, like uh, you may doing the events collecting some epic shards tokens uh, like i have already done every single epic hero awakened which means it's pretty easy for a free to play player so your first choice is squadron and craig um, uh, like um, if you are if you want to choose which one you want to invest more of course squadron because you're gonna use squadron for behemoth Let's say you are moving forward, uh, you already understood how to play with marksmen and you want to play as a marksman. Next hero pair, which is uh, my favorite and it's like another playstyle for the marksman legions, uh, is Nico and Kinara. This is mainly a uh, skill damage factor uh, playstyle with a lot of defense reduction, defense breaks. I understand whenever we are speaking about legendary heroes, uh, we always need to mention that it's really, really hard for a free-to-play player 
to awaken the legendary hero that's the main reason why you should choose the your main uh, legion type and only invest your uh, tokens to that type as you can see i invested all of my legendary tokens to kinara because she is my favorite hero in the game currently since day one and i'm a marksman player so Nico and Kinara is amazing hero pair which I like since day one. Uh, you won't gonna see uh, this hero pair much uh, to season TI or season two plus. It was more popular early game, but still I enjoy the synergy. I enjoy the skill damage factor synergy with uh, the defense reduction. Um, for example, for Nico you're gonna have a defense break, uh, and also on Kinara you have a breaking defense break uh, too. Which means like a lot of defense break, a lot of skill damage. I guess you're gonna deal a lot of damage. Actually, I was dealing a lot of damage to infantry tanks uh, with my defense break. And more and more I will play. Uh, soon I'm gonna awaken my Kinara and it will be much easier for me to deal more damage. So if you have Nico and if you somehow got Kinara at least 5-1-1-1, you can always run Nico and Kinara. And you have already have two marksman legions, which is Gwenwin and Craig, and uh, Nico and Kinara. The next one, which is the best and most popular marksman uh, legion uh, hero pair, is Sindrion and Fregar. It's a different style of uh, gameplay with Sindrion and Fregar. If you're gonna compare it with Nico and Kinara. Uh, Syndrome and Fregar is all about normal attack, um, doing as much normal attack as possible while critting with the normal attacks. For example, if you're gonna check Syndrome's first and main skill, you won't gonna see any damage factor on this skill. It's a passive skill, kinda, which is just giving you the keen and the rapid fire, like getting more attack uh, in percentages and more normal attack. Um, also, all the skills, all the buffs which Syndrion and Fregor is giving to each other is all about normal attack, uh, dealing as much as damage out of just simply standing still and attacking the enemy by normal attacking it. And also main idea is that the normal attacks gonna crit and more crits you're gonna have more damage you are going to deal. This hero pair is one of the most popular uh, in the marksman for the season TI, um, especially for pay to win players which have been like the main meta in this game you are already trying to always trying to figure out how you can deal a lot more damage to tier 5 players which is always hard and and, and we also we already have three hero pairs uh, Gwenwin uh, Craig Nico Kinara and Sindrion and Fregar you might think that there is not much uh, hero pairs for marksman legion but that's totally false uh, because time by time new hero pairs come out uh, with the players uh, uh, like understanding of the game and figuring out what's gonna be a new synergy and one of the best defensive style of marksman hero pair have been uh, Hosk and Kinara we should speak about hero pairs which is pay to win also because we need to understand that a lot of pay to win players are playing this game uh, Hosk and Kinara is another playstyle for marksmen, which means uh, you are having a uh, lot more units because of Hosk, uh, which means you are more tanky and uh, uh, of course simply because Kinara's counterattack damage you are more like tanky style of marksman. You would like to get hit uh, in the middle of the war, more people are going to target your legion, more uh, merits you are going to get. Uh, and also, of course, Hosk is more of a buffer, like attack bonus, HP bonus, damage deal bonus. So it's not like you are not going to deal any damage. Of course, it will be much less. Uh, for example, if we're gonna compare it to uh, Syndrion and Fregor, but uh, it compensates by counter attack damage, which you are uh, like giving to everybody who is trying to hit you. And in general. Marksmen are dealing a lot of counter-attack damage. It should not be uh, like forgo forgotten. Uh, like simply, whenever I'm getting hit by mages, I can see how much counter-attack damage I can deal, and I'm always happier about it. So we're gonna repeat. We already have four marksmen legions. 
uh, which is uh, Gwenwin and Craig, uh, after that Nico and Kinara, Sindrion and Fragor. And maybe you want to use uh, Kinara in a different way, maybe you are paid to win player, you're gonna use Hosk and Kinara. After that we have yet another Marksman Legion which we can build, uh, which is of course Thea with Craig for the Wyverns, especially if you are playing with Wilderberg. You are going to enjoy the uh, Thea and Craig combination because it's really really easy to awaken Craig. Uh, you are getting additional damage out of the Craig. And Wyverns are pretty cool units which gonna be uh, like pretty fun to play uh, on the in the war. I uh, mean simply because you can fly over everything in this game whenever you are flying. You can see how many playstyles you can play with Marksman. It's like almost every single hero pair gives us something different. Uh, that's why Marksman became my choice because it was not boring. Like for mages, you are standing from the highest range and you are dealing damage like this. But for Marksman, there is actually a couple of playstyles. Uh, skill damage factor for Nico and Kinara. Normal attack crit for Sindrion and Freygar. Uh, Gwen for uh, poison damage, Hosk and Kinara for counter attack and the tank buffs, uh, and of course Thea and Craig for the Wyverns if I want to play with a marksman flying units. After that, like this is all uh, I can speak about heroes. I'm pretty sure soon we are getting uh, marksman stronghold uh, unit, garrison unit. I'm sorry. Uh, because we need it, like we already have cavalry one, we're gonna have soon Tohar magic one, and it's time for us to get some uh, marksman one, which gonna I'm pretty sure we're gonna get. Uh, now it's time for me to speak about artifacts uh, in this game, and it's uh, not easy for a free-to-play player to get artifacts in this game, but still we have to speak about them, and uh, at first I will speak about artifacts which are easily gettable, were more easy to get than the event artifacts, such as, for example, Shadow Blades. Now uh, basically Shadow Blades is good because you can use it all in almost every single uh, marksman artifact. It's not best, it's like better than average. Uh, and of course for a free-to-play player, that's the one we can get. Uh, that's why I always suggest to go for Shadow Blades if you have it. Currently, I have um, attached the equipped on my main Marksman uh, Legion, Nico and Kinara. That's a Legion for the uh, skill damage factor type, and the Shadow Blades is dealing more uh, up to five enemy Legions uh, the skill damage factor skill. Another uh, artifact which is pretty cool. Uh, pretty overrated in my opinion, which is Heart of Kamasi. Now it's more of a defensive style of uh, artifact, which gonna be beneficiary for all of your marksman legions. That's the main idea. Marksman unit defense and legion defense. Well, that's not the best stats for the marksman, but what's important is the uh, the skill, which is giving two nearby friendly legions physical kin, physical attack, fifteen percent. Onslaught, normal attack damage, plus 50% for 10 seconds. Which means, I guess, you are just getting more tanky with the stats, and you are getting the uh, like offensive skills and stats out of this skill of the Heart of Kamasi. I'm using it, I'm pretty happy about it. Uh, also, it's gettable with the normal uh, piece, which is important, same as Shadow Blades. Other than that, there is not much um, legendary marksman artifacts which you can get um, like from the normal keys. Uh, other legendary artifacts, of course, if you are more of a pay-to-win player or maybe you got lucky at the season-ending compendium. Uh, Kinara's main uh, marksman artifact, Rattlespear. Rattlespear will be the best choice for Nico and Kinara hero pair. I would 100% suggest it to you guys. Uh, the Gold Crest is exclusive for Syndrome and Freygar. Um, Legion Hero Pair. Uh, like these two artifacts, like the Rattle Spear is made for Ginara. That's the weapon of Ginara. And the Gold Crest is the bow and arrow of the Syndrome. So if you have any of those, uh, use Rattle Spear with the Kinara Hero Pair and Gold Crest, Syndrome and Fragar. 
that's the choices we have uh, like uh, best ones and the worst ones of course there is Viola's bow um, I, I generally don't like marksman unit HP in general HP for marksman I'm not sure how useful it is but if you have Viola's bow and you don't have shadow blades or um, like Heart of Gamma C it's always better to use the legendary artifacts which you have especially as a free to play player uh, rather than just uh, set it on the bench and not using it. Also, the Heart Purser is a pretty cool artifact. I'm currently using it on my Thea Craig uh, because I don't have any other legendary marksman artifacts. Uh, the cool stuff about Heart Purser is that the target has a 65% chance to gain physical defense break. That's I actually, if you don't have Shadow Blades, the Heart Purser will be great for Nico and Kinara because of the defense break uh, synergy with their skills. Uh, that's the all artifacts we ha we currently have for the marksmen. Um, like of course we are getting Steel Heart Avengers soon, but it's not here yet, so we won't gonna speak more about this new uh, epic artifact that we are going to get pretty soon. Uh, this all we can speak about artifacts for now, and now it's time for us to speak about warpets, which have been a, a great addition to the game in my opinion. There is a couple of warpets which are great with um, certain hero pairs. For example, a Night Rock is amazing for Syndrome and Fragar because of the Ravage skill. Uh, as I already said, the normal attack and normal attack crit is the main uh, attribute for the Syndrome and Fragar. <coughs> sorry, Syndrome and Fragar Marksman Legion. And Ravage is giving us the crit rate um, and the normal attacks, which is the basically main thing for this Syndrome and Fragar. The Snow Peak Rock, um, I like Snow Peak Rock on Nico and uh, Kinara because of the 30% chance to deal damage to the target Legion when inflicted defense break. And we already know Nico's first skill gives us defense break, Nico's awakening skill gives us defense break, and also uh, Kinara's awakening skill is giving us uh, defense break. That's the main reason why I like to use uh, the Snow Peak Rogue only on Nico and Kinara because of the defense break. Other than that, I would not really suggest to run uh, the Snow Peak Rogue in any other uh, Marksman uh, Legions. And of course, uh, there is also another choice uh, which you can always run uh, if you are marksman player, uh, which is Sand King, uh, Sand Lizard, pretty interesting warpet, uh, which has a lot of use uh, throughout the game. Uh, and uh, like basically, whenever you are running the Sand Lizard, it's it means that you're gonna stay alive longer uh, because you are having a lot of heals for you and for the surrounding legions uh, which means more time you are alive as a marksman player more damage you are going to deal in the end that's why i think currently we have uh, three marksman uh, usable uh, warpets the night rock for syndrome and fragar snow peak rock for nico and kinara uh, and sand lizard for basically anything but not the flying units the sand lizard is creature uh, which is moving on the land and it will be bad if you're gonna use it on a flying hero pair. Uh, that's all we can speak about um, uh, the warpits currently in the game. Uh, like the most important, like for example, now we're gonna speak about talents. Uh, when if you are running uh, uh, at first Gwenwin and uh, Craig, which was the first hero pair you, which you can get, I would 100% go for the precision uh, tree because precision tree is the busy best tree uh, which you can get as a marksman player um, not only for behemoths but in general pvp battles if you are a marksman and you're gonna have a precision uh, talent tree always run it um, yep for the gwen and gwen and craig uh, the talent tree will be precision for the nico and kinara uh, nico will be primary hero because precision uh, talent tree yet again uh, i'm running precision on my nico and i would suggest you to run it also uh, for example for syndron and fragar again main talent tree is precision which means like basically uh, if a marksman hero is good uh, the talent tree is precision, uh, the same as um, like for magic and uh, as hero pairs, skill is the best talent tree, 
it's the same precision for the marksman um, and of course if you are running hosk and uh, kinara precision uh, hosk is primary because simply of this talent tree it's pretty easy to understand why precision is good uh, because you are dealing the uh, highest amount of uh, damage in general whenever you are choosing the talent precision so like uh, most uh, mostly the trick is whenever you are running wyverns uh, with the tia and craig um, for example here i'm testing the pvp tree uh, pvp until the end and the overall until the half i will try it i will see how it will work if it will be good i will be suggesting you guys to run the pvp tree uh, of course we are lacking a marksman flying uh, legendary hero for the like wyverns which i think we are going to get pretty soon uh let's see one we are missing like finally we got magic one uh, we got the foreign deal for the calves and now of course it's turn to get a marksman uh hero in general how you can get those heroes which is for example Sindrion, which is uh, kinara kinara you can get at the start of the season uh, like the start of the game if you are a beginner there is lucky spins or maybe if you already playing this game and you just decided to unlock the kinara there is choice lucky spins which you can choose the exact hero you want to spin and if you will get lucky you will be able to unlock the hero and whenever you're gonna be able to unlock the hero it gets much easier to just choose the hero on the vip shop and every single day you are going to get at least one token uh, from uh, this vip shop of course if you're gonna level up the shop until the level 14 you will be getting uh, two legendary tokens per day and it makes you uh, like uh, upgrade the level of the skills uh, much easier but it does not mean that it will be fast to awaken any legendary hero that's why my advice for free to play players have been always to choose your main legion type and only invest your legendary tokens to that one uh, hero type um, simply because you won't be able to have at least one legion which will be strong uh, and you will have lose the interest and you will lose the fun towards the game if you are having a zero impact <clears throat> for example myself i invested almost every single legendary tokens to kinara and i'm pretty close to awakening to her like i'm missing two levels and actually i have been playing this game almost since the day one and this will be my first legendary hero which i will be awakening as a free-to-play player that's the main reason why I'm making those videos to make you understand guys that uh, the prioritizing matters in this game in order for you to have fun and it's always fun whenever you are dealing damage to pay to win players as a free to play player. Now we spoke about um, the best faction which is suitable for marksmen, we spoke about hero pairs. We spoke about artifacts, uh, we spoke about uh, warpits, talents, and in general the ideas uh, which are behind the marksman. Uh, this is my guide about marksman, which is my favorite uh, legion type. Not only in Call of Dragons, I think in any games I have been always playing as a marksman. And whenever I saw the archer legion type in this game, I had already chosen how I will be playing this game. Hopefully I will continue and I will have every single marksman hero. Um, currently I'm doing it well. Uh, let's see. I hope uh, this game is going to progress in a good way, which is have been in this last year. Uh, I think in, in a couple of years this game will become the best kingdom builder game, which is uh, which we currently have. Of course, because of Rising Kingdoms, it will be really really hard because they have a great community, but. This game has a, a bigger uh, bigger and better projection in my opinion because the gameplay and the combat gameplay in this game is way way better which I have never seen in any Kingdom Builder games. As always share your opinion regarding the marksman regarding this video and tell me which kind of uh, uh, legion type you are maining which is your favorite heroes uh, the hero pairs as I mentioned my favorite hero is Kinara. 
I wish I had somehow gotten the host without paying in this game, but it's impossible. Uh, the best hero pair for me right now is Nigo and Inara, and if I have, if I will ever get Hosk for free somehow, I don't know, then Hosk and Inara will be my favorite hero pairs. But for now, it's impossible. That's why I'm running with Nico and Ginara. Share your opinion. It's always better to understand the point of view of the community. That's the reason why I started making videos. Uh, to have a community which we, I can speak about the game and share my views. And you guys will share yours. I hope you are enjoying the content which I'm trying to make um, as always. Uh, if you do, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more motivation to do more and better videos in the future. Thanks for watching. I hope you are having an amazing day, night and morning. And I hope this guide will be helping you in the future. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye. I'm gonna see you very very soon.